Good day, folks. Another beautiful day in Southwest Trinidad. Wow. All right, good day, folks. Neil here from Southwest Adventures. Today we are going to hunt in for some green iguanas, and we have already obtained our permit, which will allow us to hunt um, green iguanas. As you can see, here is alligator lizards. All right, and we are going hunting this morning. We have Caleb here. Caleb is here with us today. I'm also here. We have some mosquitoes this morning, and but that doesn't that, that is not going to stop us this morning, right? So let's go. Gentlemen, this is sticking a little right. Stay clear of this plant. Those bristly looking spines here. When they prick you, the scratches a whole lot. Alright? Well up in the outside place adventure man. Let's go. The hunt is on. The only thing with this one by a lot of mosquitoes this morning. Look at them. Let us see one place. See one place on me. Look at mosquito people. Look at mosquitoes. Watch me, watch me kill it. Mosquitoes like that. Look at them. They are mosquitoes. But they ain't stopping me from hunting. Eh? So I want to encourage folks, hunters this season, let's hunt, hunt sustainably. Meaning that what we shoot is what we eat. And those shoot the young ones. You know what I'm saying? We have to think about the future. We have to hunt sustainably, right? Right, gentlemen? And happy hunting, man. Have a good season from Southwest Adventures. They have a lot of water in the bush. People look at it. A lot of water. But the corners love areas where they have water and things, you know? Because that's their means of escape. You understand? Because water and mosquito is our challenge today. And well, of course, you see the bushes, it's kind of big. But we're managing so far. Hi people, we have spot our first iguana, let's zoom in on them. See them there fellas? Right on the edge, look at them. Nice fella they see you're going after him, right? Você é gonna vai. Ei, well shot by. Come on, bongs man. Wugush. Yeah. I don't believe this. Kill him no shoot on that one. I felt about five shots. Let me go for it. Well done, Sonny. Proud of you, man. Proud of you, boy, Sonny, boy. Good job. 
Ah. Ei for. Pica, pica, pica pe victim nimă. Nu tirai tu. Camle, mai scamle. Camle, scamle. Hai, mă. Caleb, well done, man. Let me see where he is. A shot? Mm-hmm. Good job, man. Watch me. Proud of my son, man. Well done, man. Good job, man. Good job. Proud of you. Pull it. Alright, so what happened? It started to rain. But, guess what? We saw another iguana. Look at him there. See them, fellas? Right on that branch. Let me see if I can get a little closer to him. That's about all the zoom I have there. Alright, so we're going and get him there now. Alright, so we came up on this um, tree here. So I just want to share. It's a cannonball tree, right? It bears a fruit that kind of resembles a cannonball. But the flowers I'm very much amazed of. Eh? Look at this, people. Look at this, look at this. Wow. Is it lovely? Really lovely. Look at this, look at the arm. Um. Oh, yes. Wow. Beautiful, eh? It's amazing. What well, happened at Southwest Adventures, people? So we, the hunt is on. The hunt is on. All right, people, we spot the next one there. All right, so we go in here. You see them there? So look carefully. You see steel and everything. Yeah. And the tail there, right? You gotta be. I mean, you really gotta be looking good and watch that. You can't see nothing from that angle there. And then when you zoom in, look at it. Wow. You have to have eyes like a hawk to see these iguanas. Yes, no. Go ahead. Go ahead, son. Right. We now shoot one day and stick up on the tree of this. So I'm going up quick, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Right up over here. What's it? See the tail? The tail. Third one. Hi, what's me? All right, so I just shake them down from the vine there, and you want to go on this. Put them up, put them up, put them. All right, gentlemen. Ladies, it's morning now and we are going to prepare these iguanas for eating but some people skin their iguana but here in Trinidad we roast the iguana and that tends to give it a really unique flavor alright so we have the fire going and my boy Caleb you know I'm teaching him a lot of survival tricks you know hopefully um, you will benefit from this someday but we are here with Sunday Gona now let's see how it goes alright so when you roast the Gona you will have to scrape off the skin like Caleb is doing right now so when you are roasting the Gona you have to make sure that I mean they are thoroughly roasted eh? you want to make sure that every part is roasted you know properly so you have to rotate them in a timely manner and then you will remove the skin so you have to make sure you remove the um, 
So once the skin roast is roasted, you see it tends to come off easily. Cut it. This is the skin here. It comes off very easily when it's roasted properly. All up in your so close adventures, man. Give me a thumbs up, demand, sonny. Oh. All right, so not only gonna have been has been scraped up, right? Um, we're gonna use these coconut shells here. We're going to remove the fiber from it. Oh. Right, so we have some squeezy and water here. Some dishwashing liquid. I'm going to scrub them now. Alright, so when you're cleaning the iguana, right, we have already removed the gut and all that, and the head, and um, there's something called the mist, so we're going to remove the mist, I'm just going to show you all, it's, it's located right at the back leg here, if you look carefully, this is this kind of um, dotted area here, this is called the mist, so it's on both, on both back, le back legs, right along this area here, right? This is what it looked like. This is what the mist looked like. And if, if you leave this on the iguana, it tends to make the meat taste um, rank. All right, so the iguana has been cut up in some nice pieces. Look at it. These are, these are the two iguanas we have here. We're now going to wash it with some flour and um, we will then give it a nice season up with some shadow benny and garlic and some other herbs. Stay tuned. Okay, so what we have here is the seasoning that we are going to use to season the cigona. We have um, shadow benny, sive, pudina thyme, celery garlic clove, oregano, and pimento pepper. So we're gonna grate these seasoning and make sure they are properly minced and then we're gonna add them to the um, icona. And trust me, it makes a difference. So the icona, we, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some flour to the icona and we're gonna wash it at least three times. You know, we're gonna put some flour in it here and um, we don't use lime, eh? we, we use flour and we, we wash it and then it's seasoned. Okay, so our seasoning is minced up and um, we're going to season the iguana now. Go ahead. Wow, it smells good already. Whoa. Look at that people, look at that. If only I could have shared this smell with you guys. Alright, we're gonna add some all poopers, all poopers seasoning. Some salt, some cayenne pepper. Gonna add some curry, some madras curry powder. Alright. How are we gonna cook this gonna? We're gonna cook this gonna curry stew. Eh? To me, that's the best way to cook it gonna curry stew. There's no other way with some coconut uh, milk and some kettle tongue dumpling. 
Okay, so after we had um, seasoned it, we left it in the fridge maybe for about four to five hours to marinate or what the locals say, kusume. We stewed now, so we have some um, some sugar, some oil and sugar in the pot there. All right, let's see. Wow, look at it. Ooh. Wow. It smells good. Mm. All right, so nothing goes better with dumpling and igona. Yeah, that's what's happening here now, man. Making some so-called kettle tongue dumpling. All right, so the, um, the sugar is allowed to brown before the gona is placed in it. Now remember the gona is seasoned with curry, eh? Look at it. So it's, it's what we call a curry stew. So it's seasoned with the curry, and then so the sugar is starting to, to get that kind of brownish kind of syrup looking kind of color there, yeah. Almost there. Alright, let's do this. Alright. I'm going to do a little something. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of 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 a little bit the water has been um, hot for the dumpling. So this sigona is allowed to, um, to be fried up a bit. And you see now a little change in the color there already. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add some um, coconut milk. We have one coconut here that's going to blend. So, in the meanwhile, we are making the um, dumplings. Now, I, you probably would miss a kettle tongue dumpling. Now look at the shape of them anyway. This is our old Creole tomb, kettle tongue dumpling. Alright, so the water has come to a boil now and dumplings have been placed into the pot. What did you add to the water? Salt? Some salt? Yes. Okay, good. Right, man. So we have iguana to the right and dumpling to the left. All happening here at Southwest Adventure, people. All happening here at Southwest Adventure, man. Right, so we are blending up a coconut here now. Okay, so one of the main ingredients that needs to go into this iguana is coconut milk. Look at that. Wow. All white and creamy. Let's go. Wow, look at that. And you just have over to boil long now, right? Until they get a nice thick sauce yeah just allow it to boil long until it makes a nice thick gravy and then it will be ready all right the, the dumplings are, are kind of almost there all right so we're gonna chunky the dumplings now go ahead you have garlic An onion, garlic and onion is in. Allow it to fry up for a bit. Okay, so this combination of garlic and onion and pimentos and shadow benny, you know, it's, it's locally called Puran. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're gonna add the, the remainder of the ingredients here. Good. Allow it to fry down for a bit. We just add in a little bit of um, golden rib butter for flavor. That's correct, right? Yeah. Wow, it smells good. These are the dumplings here. And we're now gonna um, chunk it in them. Now, chunky dumplings here a whole lot better than just dumplings that are just boiled, right? Trust me, it tastes a whole lot better. Any anything, whether it be dumplings, cassava, any any kind of provision, chunky, tastes a whole lot different. All right, so we're going to bubbling on the side here. Almost there. And Caleb. And Caleb is anxiously awaiting it. Not so? Yeah. Nice boy. Alright, so the iguana is now completely cooked. And trust me, it smells delicious. Sumptuous. Mouth watering. I, I just can't describe, get words to describe this, you know. Alright. Boy Caleb helping himself there. And this is the dumplings that have been chunked. Was chunked. Look at it, people. Nice cattle tongue chunky dumpling. Yeah, man. That's what we're talking about. All up in here, so best adventures, man. All of you saw people can cook. Trust me. Wow. So, time to eat this iguana. Caleb, how is it tasting, son? Mouth watering and succulent and right. very soft. Emily, what do you have to say about the one? How is this tasting? Delicious. Delicious. Mm. Alright, so. What happened here at Southwest Adventure, people? So. I hope you like it. Southwest Adventure. Man.